Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we have an interview with a good friend of mine named Adrian Chapman. He is an author, written a couple books. He's also a video game guy. So we're asking a couple fun questions. Here we go. All right. Hey, welcome back everyone to Triple R. Today we are with Adrian Chapman. He is an author. We're going to talk about some of the books he's written and some of his favorite things, games, video games, random stuff. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing, Triple R? Good, man. Good. <laughs> Um, let's get right into it so we don't bore the audience. Um, All right. So your author, what books do you have out right now? Where can we get them? Okay, well, I have three books out um, under my pseudonym, Chucky and Nelly, okay. uh, Heaven Fell, uh, Cold Rain and Colder Hearts, and Life Takers and Heartbreakers. The last two books, they're part of a series of, uh, of sort stories I've made uh, involving a character called the Night Revenger. Um, you can find those on Amazon. Uh, they're relatively no, low price, I believe, uh, one to two dollars. Um, they're all, they're all, they're all. Uh, well, they're they're for physical, and they're also for uh, on the Kindle as the well. Kindle. Okay. So you can buy, you can buy them uh, in soft uh, in paperback or Kindle. And the last two, the Night Revenger. What was the inspiration for that character? I've always been a comic fan, so uh, I always wanted to. I, it it was a character I had in my head for a long time, a, a vigilante superhero type character. And uh, it's something I've had for you know over years, and like I always had stories for them. So I just decided one day I'll just uh, I'll put them on paper and see what happens. And the more I wrote, the more I fell in love with the character, and I started developing side characters and more stories, and and it just took off from there. Oh, that's that's cool stuff. Uh, how long are the books? Like how many pages? Uh, page count? Uh, around three hundred pages. Uh, about oh. the about an average novel. Okay, so they're a good size book, good read. Yeah. Each each one of them. Yeah, both. Uh, yeah, well, as Heaven Fell, it's a short story, right. uh, almost a novella. Okay. So that's about seventy to eighty pages, and that's a completely different. It's a science fiction story. Okay. Um, but uh, Night Revenger, they're both novels. They're both uh, true, no joke novels. All right, very cool stuff. I will have a link below, and I'll have a screenshot here. We'll put it up so you can see what the covers look like. Um, so why did you start writing? When did I start writing? Oh, I've been writing ever since I was a, I was a kid, ever since uh, elementary school, um, just little small stories. But I didn't really start getting into it. I didn't really start getting into publishing, trying to publish my work, until I was about maybe 23, 24. Okay. Um, I, I, just, I decided to just start taking it more seriously, uh, just uh, try, to, try to make it a, 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 a livelihood. But, uh, um, and it's a work in progress. Right, right. Well, if you have three books out, that's more than most people could say. <laughs> uh, I don't have any books out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, like I said, work in progress. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to hone my craft with every book. Um, I'm actually currently in the process of writing a book, um, title incoming. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the the more I write, and the more I make mistakes, and the more I put it out there, the more I learn, right. and hopefully try to be better with each book. Is this last one going to have the Night Revenger in it? I know he says incoming. Yeah. Oh no. This is uh, this this next book coming up. It's a completely different book. Okay. Um, it, it's another sci-fi story. A completely different world. Um, just something I've been messing with for a while. I've been writing it uh, off and on about a year and a half now. Okay. So those Night Revenger stories are those two that are scope. Uh yeah. It's a, it's it's self it's self contained. It's set in uh in uh early two thousands Los Angeles. Um. So the, it's uh yeah, it's more of a mystery action adventure crime novels. Okay, so the Night Ranger, those two, you got the whole story right there? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Um, all right, like I said, some, more, some random stuff here. Uh, what is the worst movie you've ever seen? Oh, boy. Uh, that's that's a tough one. Off the top of my head, Joy Luck Club. <laughs> oh, one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my goodness. Not Razor, um, not razor Sharp. Oh, no, Razor Sharp is so bad, it's good. That's true, you that know? is true. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Joy Luck Club. I just, uh, I just, I was bored to tears. Um, another one, um, Pride and Prejudice. I, I had to, I had to be forced to watch that one. Yeah, that, those, that, was, that was pretty bad. Dude. Those sound boring. I, I don't think I'd watch either one of those. Yeah, that, yeah, that you're, you're not missing anything. Uh, skip. Yeah, uh, yeah let's, let's skip those. I remember, uh, was it Joy Luck Club coming out and seeing the ads? Why did you, why did you even go see that? Was it, was there a, a date? I saw it with a, I saw it with a friend and uh, yeah that's uh, was that ex friend yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they, well <laughs> that's a long story but uh, uh, okay yeah, we, we a, got it yeah, yeah we got it <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> now those movies go <laughs> all right yeah. so I know you're a superhero fan you mentioned the Night Revenger and your inspirations what is your favorite superhero 
Oh, uh, that's that's actually a pretty tough question. But off the top of my head, probably Green Lantern. Um, really? But can I just have like a yellow sign and like hit him over the head and win? That, that, that's you know, okay. I mean, yes, you can, but <laughs> he's a lot tougher than that. Uh, and they, they, they've evolved him over the years. Oh, so okay. A lot better. All right. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was wondering about that. It was seemed like a pretty bad weakness there. <laughs> it is a bad weakness. I'll admit it. <laughs> But you know, it, 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 it's part of what makes it. It's part of the charm. But I always, I did like Green Lantern. I actually liked him a lot on how he looked in the Super Friends. I thought he was a cool, cool-looking character. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. I like how they dub, dub, they've done now in the, in the latest uh, cartoons, the latest Justice League cartoons. Phenomenal, amazing. Uh, I saw his his own cartoon run was really good. It took me a while to watch it because the art wasn't great, but the story was pretty good. Yeah, well, I mean, it was it was done by the, the guys who made the Justice League cartoons. Yeah, oh, well. everything. Don't, yeah, those. Yeah, so I mean that, that explains it right there. Those were those are classics. Yeah, I was I enjoyed that a lot. All right, so Green Lantern. That's an interesting choice. Not because the uh, live action movie was it. No, no, well, no. We, we try not to speak about the live yeah. action. Oh, okay, that, all right, right, right. That never happened. It didn't happen. <laughs> that was like Earth X or something, right? But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's true. You're right. You're right. Uh, the crisis. They fixed that. That was uh, that's very true. Um, <laughs> No, just uh, you know, like uh, in high school, uh, Kyle Rayner. I, I like the character of Kyle Rayner, the Green Lantern, uh, Kyle Rayner. Um, and you know, I, it, I, like I, I can really relate to him as a character. Okay. So I just, yeah, he kind of gave me became my super my favorite superhero, and I just kind of got into the Green Lantern core overall after that. All right, all right. I know, uh, I know, me and you are wrestling fans. I just watched a podcast with Hurricane on it, and uh, it just reminded me because he has a tattoo. Of uh, yeah. the Green Lantern on his shoulder there, so it was it was pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so let's move on to the next question here. Some for games. What are your top three video games of all time, all systems throughout childhood, adulthood? Okay. Uh, off the top of my head, first, uh, my all time favorite video game is probably Evil Zone, even to this day. <laughs> really? PS One. That yes. game's awesome. That game's amazing. If you're an anime fan. Yeah. Uh, it covers almost every single anime trope. Uh, that's what drove me to it so much. And it's a real simple game, too. Um, it, a great story and just fun to play. As easy as it, as it is, it took me a while to get the hang of it because I popped in expecting, like, a Street Fighter. And I was like, what is yeah. going on? And then once you start doing yeah. the special moves, you're like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it's, it's very cinematic, which grabbed me. Yeah. You know, and it's, like, it, it's really immersive, and it just it, it brings you in. Yeah, I have to look up who made that because he didn't continue it. It just that was it, right? Evil Zone, that was yeah, it. That was it. It's, uh, it was been made by uh, Ukes. Okay. Um, I don't know if you remember that studio. Another part of the SmackDown, the old SmackDown series, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they made that. Um, I know for me and a lot of other fans, we were all hoping for Evil Zone too. Yeah. And you know maybe it'll happen in the future, but uh, now yeah, so far no dice. No well, Evil Zone fans, comment below. Um, all right, yeah, that's a good game. So that's number number one. What's the your other two? Uh, number two, probably Heavy Rain. Oh uh, yeah, game, yeah. I can't say enough good things about <laughs> Heavy Rain. Uh, that's it's it's one of the best storytelling games I've ever played. Um, uh, yep. Very sympathetic characters. Yeah, I definitely agree. That was that was an awesome game. Again, yeah. like where's the part two at? Right. Yeah, I, I was reading online. Um, they they don't want to make a part two. They were they were actually thinking about making a movie. Hmm. Um, but I guess that fell through, which that would have been awesome as well, you know. But I'm, with all the multiple endings, I don't know how you're gonna. <laughs> yeah, I mean, gonna yeah. Move. Well, he, he did it with Clue. Do you remember when he did that with Clue? That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like different um, areas got different endings of like who who yeah. done it. Yeah, that was, that was pretty uh, interesting thing to do. So, um, yeah, that's a good game. So one more. One more. Um, actually, it's a game I'm replaying right now. A game from my childhood, Target Earth. Um, it. it, it Japanese name is Assault Um but it was on the Genesis game called Target Earth. Target Earth. That game, I, I grew up on that game. Um, me and my stepbrother, we used to rock it all the time. Hmm, I have to look that one up. I actually stumped me there, which is odd for me. Target Earth, yeah. huh? Okay, all yeah, right. Look it up. Um, yeah, it's 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 such a fun game. I it, it's a, I've actually got it for download on PS4. I saw that. I was like, what? Yeah. So I, I downloaded it, and I've been playing it this weekend. Um, fantastic game. That's... They, 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 on the PS4, they remastered it, so it's the original game just remastered but with better graphics and a little, a little more to the story. But it's still the same. it still plays the same. It's still a, right. a, a awesome side scroller. Um, great game. Yeah, the remasters that's cooler doing that now. I actually picked up Final Fantasy VIII, the remaster. 
uh, not too long ago. Oh, how is that? It's good because you have a, like um, a fast forward button and you can take off random encounters, so you can advance quicker, or you can just you know you can farm. But the fact that you can move a lot faster helps the game out quite a bit. But looks good. Awesome. It's not like a remake like the Final Fantasy they've done yet, but it's just a remaster. But I, I liked it. That's always been my favorite Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people. Oh, eight, really? Yeah, eight, eight yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, because uh, I know a lot of people say seven, or yeah. you know the other ones. I mean, everybody loves seven, but yeah. you know, eight. I know for me, eight is my all-time favorite. Yeah, I really enjoyed I the characters. <laughs> yeah, I love the characters. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot, so I had to pick that one up. Um, okay, so. I know you're not a huge board card game guy, but I am. But so I'm always curious. What are your top three board car, board or card games that you've played throughout your life? Well, okay. Well, uh, number one, probably Monopoly. That's off the top of my head. That's a given. I think everybody loves Monopoly. Um, then I'm not gonna believe it. <laughs> yeah, ga gamers hate that game. Like, <laughs> like gamer snobs. I don't understand. Just put a time limit on it. I mean, it's Monopoly. It's fun en enough. Yeah, you get it with a group of people. It's hilarious. It's always a good time. Yeah. You know. Um, Number two, uh, it, remember that uh, the uh, the the versus system, the old versus system with DC and Marvel. Yeah, yeah, that's a great game. Yeah, yeah. yeah I played that. I remember played that in uh, in uh, actually when, when we were in the military, me and my roommate, we used to play that all the time. Or the overpower system. Yeah, <laughs> the old one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, I love that card game. Um, okay. And uh, another board game, I guess. Uh, well, another card game, I guess. I'm a five card stud poker guy. Stud. Yeah, okay, okay. so you just draw and get, that's what you got, huh? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. I mean, I'll play Texas Hold'em, it's cool, but more five-card stud. Yeah, I grew up more on five-card draw. Yeah. Yeah, but stud, I mean, I don't know. I guess that's more of just a bluffing game, period, because you have your hand and <laughs> that's it. You know? Yeah, you got, you got two twos. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So, yeah, so, you, so you like some of the classic ones, some Monopoly yeah. and poker. So, uh, never go wrong with that. You can always find cheap Monopoly and cheap poker cards anywhere. So that's always a plus. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Uh, I think we've gone through everything here. We're sitting about the 12-minute mark. So okay. I, I appreciate you coming on the show. You're my first guest. I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. And hopefully we'll yeah. do some more of these. And you have more books, maybe come back, promote more books. But yeah, incoming, well, uh, coming out, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Um, no, no date on the book yet, but it's it'll be coming out within the next couple of years. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right, man. I appreciate it, man. Cool. Hey, thanks a lot. All right. Thanks. Have a good one, dude. All right.